On my next show, Liza Minnelli, a surprise. <laughs> Fred Ebb and John Ken. <laughs> This is 30 seconds. This is Dinah, show number 1026. Okay. This is... anything to deserve it yet. However, we will, because today we are going to wind up our salute to the top ten shows, and we are going to wind it up in style with a salute to, a tribute to, a resume of the musical life of a star who would be a top ten on anybody's all-time top ten list of showbiz stars. We're going to hear stories and have some laughs and sing some songs. It's going to sing a lot of songs. I can tell you she won a Tony Award. Uh, an Academy Award, and just a few minutes ago, she won the Miss Congeniality Award backstage. Liza Minnelli! Yeah. Eliza, welcome to the oh, show. I, I really am so glad you're here. And you're, you're so exciting and so dynamic, and your fantastic personality, and your voice, and your style. All of those things uh, are so really. I think I better stop you right there about my style and all what? that stuff. Um, that's not. Uh, well, I left all that backstage, actually. I mean, all of you it left is standing of back there. Yes. All see? of it is standing back there? Wait, let me, I, I think I can explain myself a little better than Boy, that. Boy, I sure they hope so, because we pay $2.87 for the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. They say that behind, you know, behind every great uh, man, there's a woman. Mm -hmm. Well, it's true in my case, because behind me, there's a fantastic and perfect man who there. taught me everything I know. Really? Yes. Vincent Minnelli. The cre creator. No. no. Well, he started it. That's right. And Judy <laughs> I mean, he had started. something to do with it. They, yes. Yeah, that's right. In but the then beginning. somebody kind of took over and, and made me what I am today. No kidding. Yeah. Want to meet him? Oh, do I want to meet him? Can he do something with me? Let's bring him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something. Introduce him. Ladies and gentlemen, not only the most talented and marvelous person I know, but my best and dearest friend, and if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be here. Mr. Fred Ebb. Fred Ebb. 
Are you nervous? Uh, yes. <laughs> He's honest. That's one thing. But oh, this is the real Liza Minnelli. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't either. That's, <laughs> that's really great. Well, you have to have somebody to teach everything, you know. It just happened to be Fred, because he's the one who knows it all. Oh, that's super. Yeah, you, you, and you write the songs? You write Liza's songs, and you taught her how to do them? Uh, yeah. The most important thing that he gave me was my own identity, because he said, can't be like anybody else. You can explain it better than me. Was she, uh, like everybody who starts, I think, was, was imitating everybody. Uh -huh. <laughs> and not, yeah. uh, she didn't have a style of her own. So out of that came my opinion that she should just be who she is, which is terrific. Oh, I'll say. And that's how she came about. She watched a lot. Yeah. yeah. And it really started with a, a song, the first piece of uh, special material that Freddie ever wrote for me with Johnny, uh -huh. John Cannon. Um, and, of course, it was Liza with a Z. Oh, Liza was good. <laughs> oh, that's great. You, you wrote that? And, and Carter, because I am, oh, the first time I saw that, I howled. I just felt, I just loved it. W would you sing it? Me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Freddie, you sing Everybody sing You me. sing it. Yeah. <laughs> Liza, what is it? Okay. Okay. You want to use your microphone? Oh. Don't you have this problem. It's my name. But people tend to call me Lisa. Wrong. <laughs> it's uh, Liza. It's got a Z in it. You know, like somebody will come up to me on the street and say, uh, Hi, Lisa, how are you? I'll say, fine, thank you. It's Liza. Or they'll say, uh, gee, Lisa, what a pretty hat. I'll say, well, thank you very much. Only it's Liza, and that's my hair. They say uh, things are easier said with music. So uh, I think I'll do that. Ladies and gentlemen, on the subject of my name, it's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S, because Lisa with an S goes not Z. It's Z instead of S. It's Lie instead of Lee. It's simple as can be. See, Liza? It's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S, because Lisa with an S goes not Z. It's Z instead of S. It's Lie instead of Lee. It's simple as can be. See, Liza? Now, if my name were Ada, I'd be Ada. Even backwards, I'd be Ada. Or if my name were Ruth, then I'd be Ruth. Because with Ruth, what can you do? Or Sally, or Margaret, or Ginger, or Faye. But when you're Eliza, you always have to say, it's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S. Because Lisa with an S goes nuts. It's Z instead of S. It's Lie instead of Lee. Simple as can be. See, Liza? And that is only half of it, for there's another way fate treats me cruelly. How often I remember someone saying, there she goes, Lisa Minuli. Or Minoli, or Mineola, or Minnelli, or Minnelli. So is it a wonder I very often cry. It's M I double N, then E double L I. You double up the L and not new, then E double E N. End it with an I. That's why you say Manelli, Liza Manelli. It's Italian. Blame it on Papa. What can I do? Every Sandra, who's a Sandra? Every Mary, who's really Marie? Every Joan, who's a Joanne? Has got to agree with me when I. Lies with me, not Lisa with an S, because Lisa with an S goes snuff. It's easy instead of S, it's lying instead of Lee. It's simply B, C, Liza, then M, I, double N, then E, double I, you double up the N, that's not new, then E, double E, L, N with an I. That's where you say, Minnelli, Liza Minnelli. It's easy, it's easy. You see, it's Lizzy. No, no, Liza.
Yeah, I'm better now. Are you better? Yeah. You see what you've been putting me through all this time to remember all those lyrics? Yes. I was teasing him about that before we started. I said, yeah. see, now you're going to have to do it. I get to give you notes. That's right. Well, that's right. <laughs> got, got any notes for him about the hand movements and things? Anything he did that wasn't exactly right, last? <laughs> no, but it is funny. Speaking of movements and all that stuff, when I first um, started out, I was so nervous that I used to just stand, just do nothing with my arms. Bent your fists, just... And, you know, slowly but surely, Freddie got me out of that yeah. habit and working with my arms. And now people write me letters telling me what nice hands I have. It makes me laugh when I think of a sitting there going, whoa. <laughs> the hardest thing in the world. See, guys really have it made because they can put their hands in their pockets. Yeah, it looks true. so casual and it's wonderful if they have a stand mic. It's just, you've got a stand mic. You've got to figure out where these things are going to go, you know. That's, you first started, your first Broadway show together was Floor of the Red Menace. Yes. Yeah. Well, how... Flop, you know. <laughs> no. yeah. Was it yes. really? Oh, yes. Oh, I read some But I nearly didn't even get into it. You didn't? Uh, no, nearly not. You, you, you nearly didn't get into it? What do you mean? Oh, nobody wanted her. <laughs> <laughs> I you, did, though. Yeah. And Johnny. You believed in her before Floor of the Red Menace? Yes, we'd met. Uh, w um, a lady we knew. Uh, Eliza was playing in, um, what was that? Carnival. Carnival. Yeah. At Mineola. And uh, this lady was in the company. She's an actress out here now called Carmen Zapata. Okay. But her name at the time was Marge Cameron. Uh -huh. And she was in the com uh, company of, uh, of uh, Carnival. Yes. And she uh, wanted Liza uh, to meet me. Eliza was going to do an album. Uh -huh. And I didn't particularly want to meet her. I don't think she particularly wanted to meet me either. No. But she came over one afternoon and we met and we played her some songs and some of them were from Flora, the show we were about to do. And so she decided she'd like to go after the part. An audition for her. And we helped her oh, audition for great. her. Oh, that's great. But it was awful because the, <laughs> the first audition that I had, Fred and John and uh, George Abbott were sitting out in the audience. You know, and how you walk on the stage in New York, it's terrible, it's very cold. And you can't so, see anything, can you? No. Just no. that one terrible the stage, light over the stage there. manager says your name. Oh, And then yeah. you, you come out. And as I was crossing the stage, yes. what was it Abbott said? They said, they said Eliza Minnelli. And she walked out and uh, Mr. Abbott said, well, this is a waste of time. <laughs> oh, that made you feel real good. Well, I didn't do anything but hesitate in my walk, break my stride. <laughs> yeah, that would break your rhythm. He yeah. changed his mind, though. The moment he heard us sing. Yeah, and then he became, he's a big, even bigger fan than I am. That, I don't yeah. think that's possible. You two ever disagree artistically about anything? No. I don't disagree with Fred. Yeah. <laughs> he no. disagree, disagrees with me <laughs> if I make a suggestion. He says no. But he has beautiful taste. And the best. Yeah. No, we never, uh, really. How did Flora begin? How, I mean, the, the, what, was it, what was it the story of? It was a girl in the 30s who joined the Communist Party because she fell in love with a fellow who was a Sounds member. like the way we were. <laughs> yes. It, it, actually, it was a lot like it. Uh -huh. She didn't have any convictions of her own. She was kind of a klutz. And she just fell in love with this fellow. Uh -huh. And he explained to her what it all was. And uh, she bought everything he said merely because she liked him. So uh, she was romantically involved. And that's yeah. how she got involved in the... Uh, well, there was a song in that one called A Quiet Thing. Yes. Yeah. Liza, sing that. This is the love. Okay. Tell a story a little bit about it. All right, it's uh, it's the depression, and uh, Flora, uh, who was the character Liza played, uh, finally gets a job, and it pays um, the munificent sum of fifty dollars a week, and she's really thrilled, and. She expected, apparently, because she'd been looking so long for a job, that when that moment happened, when she finally got the job and she knew she was, like, financially secure, that she'd want to jump and run and that it would be this marvelous, big, brass band moment. Yeah. And instead, she finds out to her surprise that that's not the way happiness happens at all. And that's what it's the quiet, song meant. Yeah. It's a quiet thing. Beautiful song.
Liza spoke that song as beautifully as she sang it. That, that must be a joy to a lyric writer. She is. She's a joy. I don't love her for nothing. I know. <laughs> Listen, you have a, a fellow you work with, uh, John Kander. You bet. Who is Kander and Ebb, and he is something special. He Plus, sure is. I, I was going to ask you a dumb question, which I, I know you hear every time anybody talks about Which comes first. You're right. The words of the reason. Right. <laughs> Uh, don't well, you think that's a good talk show question? What's the matter with it? We use it all the time. I never know how to answer it. Okay. The, the truth is, uh, neither in our case. Okay. We, uh, we start together and we work it through together. Mm -hmm. The most I'd ever bring Johnny is an idea. I would never write a whole lyric and then ask him to set it. Yeah. And I very seldom, maybe once or twice, he's written a whole melody and I've written a lyric after that. We, we build the song together in the same room at the same time. Yeah. That's the way it should be. So that's the answer. Well, we're going to bring John out in just a oh, second. Oh, good. Yeah. I want to just, before you do it, you just uh, did a movie called Lucky Lady. Yes. 
uh, and and you just recorded the song from yeah, Lucky yesterday. Lake. We did yesterday. You recorded the song for Lucky Lake. Naturally, Freddie and Johnny wrote the score. <laughs> Yeah. Like uh, everything else. Yeah, and the, the story of, of, of Lucky Lady is three it's, yeah, it's rum, rum runners. runners. There you are. Oh, Liza, you gorgeous. Oh, I, I, the yeah, pictures? They, yeah, with Tarif. a blonde wig. Look at my bangs. I'm looking yeah. to the camera. Look no. <laughs> the, uh, oh, it's uh -huh. a red wig. A red wig. Yes. That's right. Carrot red, top. The, uh, that. And, and it's and about a, a girl and two guys who really want to you know, make some money, and she's kind of the catalyst. Yeah, yeah. And um, the two guys are, are marvelous. You know, Bert's yeah. one of them, Gene Hackman's the other one. And, uh, and I play the dame in the yeah. middle, and uh, we run liquor in a boat called the Lucky Lady. And that's how we kind of strike it rich for as long as it lasts. Sure. And it's, a, it's very funny and yeah. kind of touching. Oh. I think it's good. I you don't usually say that, but I saw it and I think it's really, really? good. Oh, yeah. I, I see that too. Like, it is yeah. terrific. I bet it's terrific. I bet it's funny. And Everybody. the fun, the finishing touch that really all made it work for me was when they wrote the song "Lucky Lady." Well, John, where's John? Candace? Johnny. Where's Johnny. Would you tell me, what does he like to work with? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you keep him off the coffee, he's all right. Yeah, okay. He really likes coffee. Uh, how every, we start every morning with an Alka-Seltzer, and <laughs> then we get through the day just fine. Oh. I keep uh, him in business. Do you? Uh, <laughs> on, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate his singing? <laughs> Uh, as a matter of fact, today I'd give him a, a nine plus. Oh. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I absolutely agree. You, you know that uh, Liza claims that Fred is really uh, Liza. Uh, it's, I mean, it, I think it's a little schizoid, but it's really interesting. I'm having a one. And the three of you collaborated in making this song, Lucky Lady, a big smash that I know it's going to be because it's the theme song. Well, this is sort of a premiere right now. So yeah, it's the first we're time all, you've ever done it. All three of us a little nervous. This is the first time? Mm hmm. Joy. Hey, folks, you heard it here the first time. Uh, you, you ready to have at it? Tell us sure. about, the song is about, really about a boat. Is it? And a girl and, and a girl, girl and two guys yeah. and, okay. And all that jazz, all that jazz. <laughs> as they say in Chicago. That's, yeah, that's your next song. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lucky lady. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you have a microphone? Yep. Ooh. Yep. Well, I've got one too, but yeah. I'll, I'll hum along. I'll hum a lot. I'll right, leave my side. <laughs> Try to get it right. Oh, all right, I'll tell I will. Bless my soul and holy mackerel, let's break out a jug of gin. Lucky, lucky, the lucky lady came in. A saint's preserve us, jump and chimney, have the hoopty to begin. Lucky, lucky, the lucky lady came in. Diamonds on her bow, emeralds on her stern. She tacked in and dropped her anchor. Land a Goshen, come up anchor. Holy cow and wild jihoss about. Hi, a tootsie, where you been? Let's have a splash. Pour out the cash. A lucky, lucky, lucky lady came in. Look at the line of a catch, the splendid design of a fess up, doesn't she weaken your knees? See the hull on the keel of her, don't you long for the feel of her when she's pouring along in the breeze. What a craft her for her aft could make your compass spin. She's here, nestling in her berth, short up, getting her money's worth. Hi ho, uh, for navigation, let's throw a celebration to show appreciation. The lucky lady came in. Bless oh, my soul boy, and look at the line of her. Let's cat. break out a jug of design of a, a lucky, lucky, the lucky lady came in. Hauling the key, lover, you, 
along for the feel of a well, look in the gate, a lucky lady came in. Diamonds oh, on her crown, emeralds on her throne. She acted and tried to make her slam. with Giggles Minnelli, sorry, <laughs> and John Cander and Fred Ebb, and they have just sung a great song from the motion picture, Lucky Lady, theme song. Is that going to be in, that's a Fox picture, 20th Century Fox. You betcha. Is that going to be, uh, uh, you're going to sing it in the picture, or is that at the credits? No, it's, it's, it's right. kind of runs throughout the picture. Throughout that and another song called Get While the Getting Is Good yeah. that, that Freddie and John wrote, but um, that one, I guess, is, yeah. you know, heard the most. Oh, Lucky lady. it's just great. I really love it. It's uh, fun to sing, too. It makes you happy. How long would it take you to put something together like that, John? That's a long... I mean, that's a complicated song. Well, we, Freddie and I write pretty fast, I think. I'll say, you yeah. wrote Liza with the Z in two hours. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I know The funny you thing do. about it is that a, a song that you... Sometimes you can do something very quickly, and uh -huh. it turns out just fine, like in a half an hour. And sometimes you can work all week on something and it sounds like you worked on it all yeah. week. Painfully, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, that, you know, that happens sometimes. Uh, some of the best things that you, that you just can't get them to come together. But uh, in Flora, for instance, the show wasn't a hit and, and so people didn't pick up on the score the way they should have. A quiet thing is one of the most touching 
songs and, and you know lyrics and melodies and there was uh, another one that i don't understand why everybody doesn't, doesn't use this in the middle of a show or an opening song sing happy yeah. well luckily qu quiet thing's been recorded a lot people now singing a lot but this is an not... instrumental i haven't heard it yeah. uh, well no Mar morgana king has a beautiful version of oh quiet. really yeah oh, I have to get a couple of people and tony bennett has yeah. but um this next song is mm -hmm. was my fave it was and, uh, and was there a big moment in the second oh, yes. half? Oh. Freddie calls it my 11 o'clock song. Your 11 o'clock song? That's the one that got the big hand 11 o'clock. Nobody yeah. fell asleep. That's when you kill them. Oh, it, you hope. Stop the show. With okay. Or else you get drummed off of the street. Well, it, we can take a chance on killing them or getting drummed off the street. Because yeah, Fred and I are going to join you in your big 11 o'clock moment. <laughs> you got How's it. That, okay. Kid? okay. Liza, you start it. All right. And you pick it up, and I'm going to try to find out where you are. Okay. Sing me a happy song about robins in spring Sing me a happy song with a happy ending Some cheerful rondelay about catching a ring Sing happy Happy melody about rainbows blending. Nothing with phrases saying you're out in the cold. Sing happy. Tell me tomorrow's gonna be peaches and cream. Assure me clouds aligned with a silver lining. An impossible dream. Sing me a happy song. Play me a magical about trips to the moon. Or some old ballad all about two eyes shining. It can't be loud enough for a moment to soon. Sing.
wanted you to do this because this is one of my favorite songs you ever wrote. Well, this is a great honor for us. Uh, it, it's uh, Dinah is about to sing uh, a song that uh, John and I wrote. It was the very first successful song that we wrote, which means to say it was on the top ten, and uh, we're very proud of it. And it's a great honor to have her sing it. It's called My Coloring Book. <laughs> In case you fancy coloring books, and lots of people do, I've a new one for you. A most unusual coloring book, the kind you never see. Crayons ready, very well. Begin to color. These are the eyes that watched him as he walked away. Color them gray. This is the heart that thought he would always be true. Color it blue. These are the arms that held and touched him. It makes you to sing a song that people wrote. I can't fool around with it or anything. That's, that's no fun. Listen, were you yeah, that nervous? Oh, you thank you have. very much. Oh, thank you for writing songs like that. Singers should get down on their knees and thank you every day. How long did it take you to write that one? Now, for that was about, that was one of our short ones. So really? That, that was about an hour. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, I, it, it's an experience, I tell you. It feels like it's a lifetime to sing it because it, it, it really means so. I, I want to bring up a moment that was big in the world. Oh. This is a, this is a, a show. Oh, hush up down there. Yeah. 
This is a show called Chicago. It's a, this is a great big fat Broadway smash, and uh, it starred uh, Gwen Verdon and Cheetah Rivera and Jerry Orban, right? And um, Gwen got sick. Had, uh, as everybody, when they do a show, she had a throat problem. And a kid stepped in uh, without any notice, uh, you know, just walked in, didn't want anybody to put it in the paper, and went on uh, uh, practically unannounced if the world had, been, had allowed her to do it. And it was Liza. Walked in to Gwen Verdun's role on the stage and electrified people with her performance. And she didn't want anybody to know about it. Isn't that right? The kid walked out a star, though. Kid walked out a star. Walked in and walked out a star and uh, on a rake stage with one leg long another, right? That's right. <laughs> Listen, was that the first time you'd worked with Cheetah? Oh, yes. And uh, I only had five days rehearsal, yeah. you know, which is terrifying in itself for oh, all of that. Sure, that's a comedy. But I never would have. T I mean. Hold on. I never would have been able to do it without, of course, Freddie and, and John and the help of Fosse. Well, Fosse but, but does Cheetah it. really, really helped me. And I'm, hey. if, if you're, wherever you are, Cheetah, at home, I want yeah. you to know this minute, yeah. I love you. Yeah. Sign away, Cheetah. I love you, Cheetah. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. I do, too, because she is, I mean, you know, she's best. a great talent. And to put up with Liza. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's really, that's something. I, would you, hey, would you sing nowadays? Oh, uh, would you just a little? This sure. is from Chicago. This is a, a Candor and Ebb song from Chicago that Liza did on the stage. Five days rehearsal. That's all, and she was Where a smash. I, yes, well, I don't know. Where, where do you want her to go for the song? Stay right there. It's fine. Can I sing with John? Sure. I can't go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you go, take your microphone with you. Wait, there's a plan in my mic. That's right. <laughs> Mike in your class. You're better off. This moment was uh, real thrilling to me because it was, uh, it comes at the very end of the show when all of uh, Roxy Hart's dreams have fallen apart and she finally ends up doing a, a vaudeville act with the other murderess in the piece whose name is Velma and it's played by Cheetah. And uh, it was when Cheetah and I really got to perform together and I'll never forget that as long as I live. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's gross. Oh, Jesus. Good. We'll give you another chance because we haven't got anybody else. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now, just pretend. Oh, wouldn't it be terrible if I did that on the opening? Oh, well, never mind. Go ahead. Don't All right. <clears throat> Here we go again. It's, I got so upset. Thing. Good, right. It's good. <laughs> Isn't it grand? Isn't it great? Isn't it swell? Isn't it fun? Isn't it. But oh, it's heaven. 
If you just happen to tune into Ala Lopez, you know that we happen to pull the surprise of the week of the year for a month. Oh, you sure did. Sheeta Rivera, whom they all adore and I adore, uh, was flo flown out and she got out this morning and we hit her in the back of the studio. She's been hiding back there. She cold as <laughs> like a spy story. That's right. And she, and you weren't surprised at all, were you? Oh, no, not at all. No. He started crying. My heart she started stopped crying. going like this. He couldn't move. He was paralyzed. And I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm oh, so happy. Gee. I was watching them all in the back. Yeah. And and, uh, and uh, we're always together, you know? Well, John thought we were going to tip it, and we talked to you so much. We said, Cheetah, if you're listening, I'm Oh, I know. When Liza did that, I... I, I thought you were sitting in New York somewhere going, yeah. when is the strike going to end? Well, I, yes, I would have been. <laughs> I, Fre Freddie Wentz told me, in fact, he told me, Many times, he said this. Um, I, why don't you say? Because you said it the best. We were talking about it in the car coming over what? about Cheetah, about and about a lyric and about that whole thing. Oh, I was saying that uh, how you, uh, people uh, learn songs and why Cheetah. You know how terrific this is. These are my <laughs> two absolutely favorite. Yeah. I'm Ladies in the whole I world. Can tell. I can't such thank a warm you enough. I mean, so it's, it's, uh, so sweet. it's such a great thing to do. Yeah. You were saying that it would over. be perfect if Cheetah was here. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. I said that. Oh. Just before we went Cheetah, on. Cheetah, I said that. Yeah. He's so flustered, you forget what you said. You know what? He said that the only, <clears throat> the only two people that he's ever met in his life who sing songs the way Song that he writes, writes yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. It's Cheetah and me. That's and great. I said, oh, God, I wish you were here. And then we started yeah. to laugh and cry. That's funny. <laughs> you have a special relationship. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, there was one thing that happened uh, that was very thrilling to me. I went to see Cheetah's act uh, at, uh, oh. yeah, at Studio One. <laughs> Liza and Jack took over the entire room and invited very special people. 
and I was lucky enough to be oh. invited. And I learned later <laughs> that that act, which was, I mean, set the town on its ear, it was really spectacular, exquisite in every <clears throat> sense of the word, was a Christmas gift. Yes, yes. Explain that. Well, uh, Chicago had been delayed. Uh -huh. uh, Bobby Fosse had gotten ill. And so we weren't going to go in for four months later than uh, we'd planned. And Cheetah was uh, in New York, and she'd taken an apartment. I'd rented all my furniture. You know, everything was rented except my daughter, Lisa. <laughs> we just moved in. From and there was an... We were just going to sort of sit around, and uh, it was go broke time, too. Yeah. So uh, it came Christmas, and I thought, well, what can I give her, you know? And I said, I'd like to give you an act. Uh, mm -hmm. John and I'll write you yeah. for Christmas, and that was the act. An act? Would uh, you would you give us a little installment on the act? I mean, just a little piece of it. I'm not. This is a song. Can you explain it?
on me You can spare me the blues I don't sing in that key And if there's a man who'd leave me I'm delighted to say I haven't run into him yet How lucky can you get? I mean, to have somebody do that song. I love that song. Thank you. Very Evan nice. Candid. Absolutely. Ev Evan Candid from Funny Lady. That's right. Oh. Well, we're not yet through with Chicago. Okay. Good. Um, <laughs> But Eliza I, is I wish I was. Eliza oh. is. I know. You miss it. Um, oh, sure, I do. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's I right. That it, was, was, it was really uh, an experience that uh, I'm awfully sorry that Californians, those that didn't get a chance to come to New York, uh, they couldn't see Eliza in the show. It, it, it was one of the most exciting experiences I certainly have ever had. To work with this lady is, uh, <laughs> is a superior feeling. I mean, yeah. it, she, she, brings, it she brings everyone else's uh, energy level and, and uh, emotions and everything up to their peak. Yeah. So you're really at your best when you work with Eliza. It's Isn't that nice? Oh, that's yeah. good. That's, it's true. That's good. All right. Dancing and all. <clears throat> all right. Well, uh, we're going to find out if that's true. Liza mm -hmm. is sitting right here, and Fred F. is going to sing another song oh. from Chicago. Yes. And Liza, just get his work on him. Give him, give him the old one, too. Get his energy level up. He's going <laughs> to sing Mr. Cellophane. <laughs> Fred F. Uh, they told me to come here. They tell you to stay there? Is you stay okay? right where they told you to stay. Okay. They know better than I do. Why doesn't Johnny tell us what it's... <laughs> uh, yeah, explain it, John. John, explain it. Unexplainable song. Uh, this is about a man who feels as if he walks through life and nobody sees him. And I feel that way all the time. So I have to do If someone stood up in a crowd and raised his voice up way out loud and waved his arm and shook his leg, you'd notice him. If someone in the movie show yelled, fire in the second row, this whole place is a powder keg, you'd notice him. And even without clucking like a hen, everyone gets noticed now and then. Unless, of course, that person it should be invisible, inconsequential, me. Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane, cause you can Look right through me, walk right by me, and never know I'm there. I tell you, cellophane, Mr. 
Mr. Cellophane Should I thin my name a Mr. Cellophane Cause you can look right through me Walk right by me And never know I'm there Suppose you was a little cat Residing in a person's flat Who fed you fish and scratched your ears You'd notice him Suppose you was a woman wed and sleeping in a double bed beside one man for seven years. You'd notice him. A human being's made of more than air. With all that bulk, you're bound to see him there. Unless that human being next to you is unimpressive, undistinguished. You know. Who? Should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane, cause you can look right through me, walk right by me, and never know I'm there. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. <laughs> Miss Liza Minnelli singing, Maybe This Time. Maybe this time I'll be lucky. Maybe this time I'll be stay. Maybe this time. For the first time, love won't hurry away. He will hold me fast. <laughs> I'll be home at last. Not a loser anymore like the last time and the time before. Everybody loves a winner, so nobody loved me. Lady peaceful, lady happy, that's what I long to be. Everybody, oh, they love a winner, so nobody loved me. Lady peaceful, lady happy, that's what I long to be.
experience when you got the <laughs> piano player crying without a beard and you got the rest of us in here that is something else thank you Dinah. oh wow now that's a song that got in the movie yes that was not in the broadway show no okay well i have a song that was in the broadway show that never got in the movie <laughs> it, 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 it wasn't they played the, <laughs> were they really yes from the broadway show cabaret that did uh -huh. like what oh the, the, kite, the pineapple it? song oh, oh yeah so. that's fine. <laughs> So what? Yeah. All of, that the, was uh, all of the Lanya and Jack Guilford songs. Oh, really? Yeah. What, was, it, was this, yeah, this was a Jack Guilford saying this to? To Lottie Lanya. To Lottie Lanya. Right. Okay. I'm going to sing it to all of you. Ah. Uh, it's, it's so pretty. It is a pretty song. my entrance but I'll come in anytime don't you worry about it John how the world can change it can change like that do the one little word man see a palace rise from a two songs make me cry so it's I know. so deep and so true yeah. I think it's for Freddie too that for us to have the th you three terrific ladies singing our songs is a, one of the happiest things that's ever happened to me <laughs> anytime we come very cheap really <laughs> we get music like that we're perfectly well I'll turn we'll turn everything we get over from this program I'm very it's happy right. you said that yeah oh really yes okay we're gonna this time next year we're gonna have a reunion because okay. by, then, <laughs> by then I will have learned this song that you're gonna do uh, in, in now uh, I don't know Fred and I still haven't learned it <laughs> I, know. I know by then Cheetah and John and I will be joining you Quite. in this particular song which is yeah. from Cabaret and this one is not easy uh, this is a song called Money uh. well we got Where are the cue cards? You have the cue cards. There they are. Yes. All right. Okay. Did... <laughs> Money. Money. Money makes the world go around the world. Go around the world. Go around. Money makes the world go around. It makes the world go around. A mark, a yen, a buck, or a pound, a buck, or a pound, a buck, or a pound. So all that makes the world go round The clicking, clanking sound Can make the world go round Money, money, money if you happen to be rich and you feel like a knight's entertainment, you can pay for a gay escapade. If you happen to be rich and alone and you need a companion, you can ring for the maid. If you happen to be rich and you find you are left by a lover, though you moan and you groan quite a lot, you can take it on the chin, call a cab, and begin to recover on your 14 carat yacht. What? Money makes the world go around, the world go around, the world go around. Money makes the world go around, of that we both are sure. I'm being poor. 
Reunion uh, alone. Okay. So next year, money, money, money. I got it. And That's hard. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> That's hard. Right? That's we didn't get it. Okay. That's all right. We'll have it. Won't well, we, John or Cheetah? That's all right. It. Okay. Next year, we'll show my stuff. Liza. Thank you, darling. Oh, thank you, Cheetah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. The so prize was more than anybody could bear. I'm sorry. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, what it meant to my little friend here and to Fred. And to John, thank you so much. Would you, would you bring in the sign, please? Sign. <laughs> well, I don't. Good Lord. I, I don't mind telling you, this has been a day to remember. Thank you. Sarah. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. Really Thanks for the party. <laughs> oh, what a party. Oh, it's oh, the best enjoy. party I've ever been to. There's one song we haven't, I mean, we did a few songs, but there's one we haven't done. Uh, have you any idea which song we haven't done for? You, <laughs> you want to sing it out there? Yeah, come on. Uh, we'll, Liza, start us up. Okay. What good is sitting? No. Yeah. Life is a cabaret, old child. 